John W. Eklund was granted U.S. patent number 3879622 on 29th of March 1974. The patent is for a ma magnet electric motor generator which produces an output greater than input necessary to run it. There are two styles of operation. The main illustration for the first is... Here, the clever idea is to use small low power motor to rotate a magnetic shield to mask the pull of two magnets. This causes a fluctuating magnet field which is used to rotate a generator drive. In the diagram above, the motor at point A rotates the shaft and shielding strips at point B. These rectangular mu metal strips form a very conductive path for the magnetic lines of force when they are lined up with the ends of the magnets and they are effectively shut off the magnet pool in the area of point C. At the point C, the spring-loaded traveler is pulled to the left when the right-hand magnet is shielded and the left-hand magnet is not shielded. When the motor shaft rotates further, the traveler is pulled to the right when the left-hand magnet is shielded and the right-hand magnet is not shielded. This oscillation is passed by a mechanical linkage to point D where it is used to rotate a shaft used to power a generator. As the effort needed to rotate the magnetic field is relatively low, it is claimed that the output exceeds the input and so can be used to power the motor which rotates the magnetic shield. The second method for exploiting the idea is shown in the patent as. Here the same shielding idea is utilized to produce a reciprocating movement which is then converted to two rotary motions to drive two generators. The pair of magnets A are placed in a housing and pressed towards each other by two springs. When the springs are fully extended, they are just clear of the magnetic shield B. When a small electric motor, not shown in the diagram, moves the magnetic shield out of the way, the two magnets are strongly repelled from each other, as their north poles are close together. This compresses the springs and through the linkages at C, they turn two shafts to generate output power.